Hello, Simon. Hi, Deb. Hi. Thomas Addis discussed the creation of his opera, which he composed with you in mind in 2004. And when you first did have a chance to see the score to The Tempest, what was your reaction? Panic. <laughs> that would have been mine, too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, uh, Thomas has said that the, the storm music represents Prospero's rage yeah. and desire for vengeance. Tell us a little bit about your character's internal struggle and how it's reflected in the music. Yeah, I thought you might ask me about The Tempest. Shakespeare's most complicated yeah. <laughs> in 30 seconds. Go. Please, please, go. Um, <laughs> uh, what do I think about it? Uh, I think that a lot of the composers that we deal with, it's about how to deal with the middle ground. The extreme of mm -hmm. Ariel as thought and of, uh, of Caliban as the visceral nature mm -hmm. and Prospero. Uh, is, is also stitched into a normal story that all the audience will understand, letting go of your daughter and those right. things. That, that helps. Yeah. But really it's about as you age, well, there's many laminations of it, but as you age, how is it to let go of your power? Never mind magic, whether it's a pen or a magic wand or just a businessman in the middle of his career right. or, or, or a singer in the middle of theirs. Mm -hmm. How many of our colleagues have we seen try to let go gracefully of their powers? It's the same thing. To approach uh, the quietness of the last chapters of your life with grace. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of that, I think, is Prospero's journey. Well, we only have a few more uh, seconds together, and I just have to ask you about the tattoos. Oh, tattoos are by my Jimmy Cortez, one of the Met staff, and he's fantastic. Hours and hours, and hours and hours. And they wear off every night. <laughs> but the po it's an interesting concept, because a man who's had his uh, library taken away from him has the spells right, written on his body. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a lovely idea. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. You did a wonderful job. Well, in the eight and a half years since you first created this role, what's changed about the way that you play Prospero? Any singer, the secret is to take one step back and keep calm in the middle of the storm, whether it be Verdi or Addis. Right. That's the secret. And every singer, as you well know, spends their entire life trying to work that out. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Simon. Thanks, Deb.